Hello everyone, welcome to Dixon's Java 101 Tutorial 21. And today I'm going to teach you how to write a method. What is a method? A method is simply a method or a formula you can write at the end of main. So for example, today I'm going to use an example to sum up numbers from 1 to 10. And I'm going to write a formula below main to sum up uh, consecutive numbers. And I'm going to use that formula inside main. So let's give this a try. So it is very important to write closing main so we know where our method is going to be. So closing main, closing class. Good. So first of all, to write a method, I'm just going to comment here, methods, we're going to use two numbers. For example, I'm going to say we're going to add up all the numbers from 1 to 10. So there's going to be two numbers, the starting number and the ending number. We're going to use a for loop to do that because we want to increment and count each one, each number. To write a method, you just have to go public static int, public static data type. So public static, and in my case, I'm just going to use int because I like whole numbers in my examples. So this is this is a crucial thing. Sum int i1 int I2. <coughs> so this is our method. If we put sum here and put numbers in between the sum, this is what it's going to do in the formula. So I'm going to go closing sum method. We're going to have our total or from the beginning from the start which is int result equal to zero so we just get start and then we'll use a for loop int i is equal to the first number so our first number is going to be i1 because we said that's the starting number and i2 is the ending number so we're going to start it from i1 and then we're going to end it to i2 and then i++. We're going to use that adding number because we want to add each number, each next number as well. So we're just going to result <coughs> plus or equal to i. It is that simple. So since this is a public static we can see this underlined because it needs to have a return value. As you can see, add return value. You can have public static void, which doesn't require a return value. Since we have a public static int, it requires a return value. So we just simply go return result. <coughs> We're just returning result which is the accumulated um, numbers from result. Awesome, so this is a simple, simple method. Now we can just print it and use the method. So our method is going to be sum, one, the beginning number, and then the ending number, and it's just going to add all the numbers in between. Let's just increment one number each time. So we're just going to system out of print line sum from 1 to 10 is <clears throat> simply to call the method we just write exactly the same here but we just don't put int 1 we just put two numbers 
Oops. Like that. That is that simple. So I'm looking through some other examples as well. We can say 1 to 50. Let's see what number it comes up with. And I'm going to do 1 to 100. So again, to call the method, you just have to write sum and write the numbers in between the brackets. 1 to 10, 1 to 10. Let's run this program. Ooh, sum from 1 to 10 is 45. Sum from 1 to 50 is 1,225. And some from 1 to 100 is 4,950. So this is a very simple and easy method. And just to recap, method, you have to make sure it goes after the closing main curly bracket and before the closing class. Once we have the method, you can implement it, the formula into main. And make sure when you have public static data type, you have a return result. So return that the result. So give this a try, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.